Hi guys, today I do have to do the new um, glitter, capsulize a new big glitter because you know it's glitter, big glitter, they have a problem. If you don't capsulize a big glitter, when you fall off, I think it pop up and it's cut like a big drop off. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a uh, big glitter. Please uh, subscribe and share the video. Thank you. Let's start. Okay, now we are um, glue the tip on and make sure the tip is not curled out but not flat so a little bit curled so make a little structure on the nail so now we uh, take out the sand signing up of the nail ready now next step we go ahead to miss you top cross to put over her nails this top cross is easy to use it's no acid so it's not going to cause burning so you can probably put more you want but I don't, I don't want to put too much just put enough here we go to ombre glitter. What we do today, number 44, like I said, first beginning. That's glitter, it's a big glitter, so you have to capsulate them. I go ahead to separate them on a the powder so they all have more extra so I can put inside a nail. First thing is, I go ahead to put inside a towel so I don't want to eat too much glitter because after you touch with liquid, it's not ready to put back in the container. Alright, so now we start. Her back to the nail is really healthy. I would like the less residual back to the go, but we have to cover the tip the whole thing. I will use to the um, Desire by Tony Liquids. Now we take up the little teeny tiny beads, the small beads, and put on metal on nails. Now we drag the product down. So you have to make sure really thin plate, you don't have to cover the whole things. You see, right, you see right, all the structure is going to metal, but I still make sure it's thin, not too thick. The reason I do that is because we have the cap not a clear on top, we don't want to make it too thick. So now you see right, we have all clear down, but some spot is still empty. I go ahead to go out and pick up the big glitter and just try to get more in there to so make sure it looks like more 3D looks. So go back and do more of them in here. After we cover a couple of glitter, big glitter on top on the tip, so now we go backward and some put some more glitter and back here. First, you want to see how to fade the glitter. Are. You see, I'm covered the nail tip already, so don't need more no, no more nail tip. And you see the top is buff already. So now you leave it glitter in here and go to put some more. So I have some more. I think that takes on with small glitter. Again, you want to make sure this one thin, like so you can like make sure they fade. It's only way you see fade, fade better, you have to go this way so you can control how much glitter you want to put on the back here. So go ahead and add on some more glitter. It's a small one. Some people just go ahead to cups and the glitter in top right now. I'm not done with that yet. So I want three different levels of the glitter so it might look like 3D glitter on a big glitter. So go ahead to put a thin light of the glitter over top. So you see where I pop very thin plate because we go have to cap another clear on top so we don't want to make it too thick here. So I got one layer of the glitter, glitter first. I go add one more time the glitter on the top one more time so they look like three levels of glitter. Just a little bit, not too much. Alrighty, so for myself I wait for about few minutes or one minute so I go four nail up time go back I use the liquid try to clean extra on top of the glitter because I don't want the big glitter have the small glitter on the top after I done that part already I go ahead to capsulate the whole nail with the clear powder now I go ahead to push the product with, with kind of glow the critical part but not too close so now I drag the product out both sides Make sure they don't run over the cuticle because if you run over, you have to clean up and it's so kind of difficult to clean up. So now I push the product, it gets close to the cuticle part.
just push on near the kickoff pop but don't run over it. Now I go back and reset them. So make sure when I file it on, it's easy to file. So now I go ahead to go back and double check is how close my nails are. If not close, I just push some more and look at the side, make sure they're thick enough. And now we go ahead to tap the product on the metal. Already. After her nails done, I go ahead to clean my brush. I make sure everything's out, even the glitter or uh, the powder out. So I go wipe the extra off, everything. And keep my nail is the same shape like it used to be. So next time you go do it again, your shape is clean and ready to do to use. So put it aside. So I have a little extra left. I go ahead to put it back to the container. It take about a few minutes to dry. So now I've separated them, the skin and the nails together because you don't want your finger to do this because it can cut hard, hurt or bleed it. I use the file side number 150, this side and 100 this side. So I'll go ahead to use the 150 is not side. You see very very smooth when you go around it. So if the reason you will get a lifting nail, because they have a little big lump right here, that's why I try to file the lump down. So what long we don't feel the lump back there, they cannot pick it on them. That's the reason why we need to that bit to make a perfect critical right back there. Now you see Ray when you see this way, you see look it down, there's no lump there. Now go back over the box. We see another bit here. This is called ceramic bit. They have us out because it's really smooth and it's ceramic. So they're not violent. When you do it, it's very smooth to use them. So when I'm using them for her nail longer, I have to take it on a little more longer. So make sure I don't cut the handle. And this one works better with a slow speed, not high speed. So after this, we go back to file a little bit again on both sides. Sometimes we still have left this side a little bit. So now we finish the filing. You see the shape really good. So I use a sponge uh, buffer now and I use a smooth side. So what I do now, I try to file them. Make sure it's smooth both sides. Really good. So today we will have to use a Mishu top gel. No white, so you can paint it, dry, and get to go. So what we do, we try to do a full brush. One brush, go all the way up to the side. And second brush, go on another side. And one brush on the middle. Before I do finish, before I dry, make sure I clean both sides with my hand. We don't want anything extra and make the nail a generous step. So make sure you clean around with gel run out around critical. Go ahead to clean it up. And now go ahead to the machine, dry about 45 seconds. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Bye bye.